Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the periodicity property of the DFT. So, we are going to look at periodicity property of DFT. That is, if the signal is given by x of n, its corresponding DFT is given by x of k, that is, x of n is a sequence of length n and x of k is the n point DFT sequence of x of n, then x of n plus capital N, that is, the value of x of n plus capital N, that is, shifting x of n by n points will give x of n back and similarly in frequency domain capital X of small k plus n will give capital X of k that is by shifting k by n points we will get the value x of k back. So let us look at the proof for this uh, ideas that is proof for this periodicity property. So from the definition of the IDFT that is inverse DFT we have x of n is equal to 1 by n summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of k e power j 2 pi n k k by capital. So given this definition now we look at the uh, expression for x of n plus n that is x of n plus capital N will be equal to 1 by n summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of k and now this n will be replaced by n plus capital N that is e power j 2 pi n plus small n into k over n. So now we have to uh, think about what is this expression. So uh, let us look at this expression that is e power j 2 pi capital N plus small n into k over capital N. Now we can easily decompose this exponential function as e power j 2 pi capital N into k by capital N multiplied by e power j 2 pi small n k by capital N. And clearly these ends cancel each other and then we have e power j 2 pi into or e power j 2 pi power k and e power, j, e power j 2 pi is actually equal to 1. So, this is actually equal to 1. Therefore, this term is indeed equal to e power j 2 pi small n k by capital. That is, this capital N is basically equivalent to multiplying this term with 1. So, I mean having this capital N in this sum that is n plus n is equivalent to just multiplying this that is multiplying this e power j 2 pi n k by capital N with 1. Therefore, therefore x of n plus capital N that is the definition of x of n plus n becomes 1 by n summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of k e power plus j 2 pi small n k by capital N that is the capital N is that is cap, this capital N is basically discarded because this term is equal to 1. Therefore, now we can easily identify this definition or this summation as the definition of the IDFT of x of n. That is, the summation is indeed equal to x of n. Therefore, x of n plus capital N is equal to x of n. In other words, x of n will be a periodic function with period equal to n. Similarly, we can also prove that the DFT sequence that is x of k plus capital N is equal to x of k. It is looking at the definition of x of k, we have summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 small x of n that is a sequence multiplied by e power minus j 2 pi n k by capital N. Now x of k plus capital N that is value of x of k shifted by n points is equal to the sum n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi and k is replaced by n plus k. Now, again by the same logic, that is e power minus j 2 pi n capital n 
divided by capital N becomes 1 because uh, e power j2 pi is or e power minus j2 pi is also equal to 1 and then 1 power n is also equal to 1 so this term becomes 1 hence x of k plus n equal, is equal to the sum n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n and then we can discard this n because of this uh, definition or because of this implication so this becomes e power minus j2 by n k by capital N, which is indeed equal to by definition x of k so this proves the periodicity of the dft sequence therefore we have proved that for n point dft sequences uh, both the time domain function and the frequency domain function that is x of n and x of k are periodic functions with period equal to the value n thanks for watching